instrument I just want us to take that as a declaration this morning that I will rejoice even in you no matter what is happening round about me amen I rejoice in it I rejoice in it I rejoice in it more than a conqueror more than a conqueror again I rejoice in Him. I rejoice in Him. I rejoice in Him. More than a conqueror. And let's declare this: No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. Amen. The Bible knows what it's saying when it says, No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. If you, if you know that that is real in your life, can you just give me a big clap offering? Because it's worthy to be praised, it's worthy to be lifted high. And that's what I'm going to say this morning. I give myself away, even in the month of August. I give myself away to serve you, oh God, no matter what. Amen. Hallelujah to your holy name. Amen.
give myself away. I give myself away so you and you again. I give myself away. I give myself away. I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away. Dear Lord, I give myself away. So you can use me. I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me you know the Bible talks about the fact that we need to have a heart of gratitude towards everything that he has done for us because we know that it's only those that have the breath that can praise his holy name. This morning, I just want you to open up your mouth and begin to thank him for his grace. Thank him for the fact that you have seen January. You've seen February. You've seen March. You've seen April. You've seen May. You've seen June. <laughs> We've seen July. Now we are in August. Father God, we appreciate you for all that you are doing for us, O oh God. We bless you, Father God, because even when the enemy will come in like a flood, the Holy Spirit did raise him in a standard even against it. This morning, we appreciate you for all that you are doing, Father God, for us. We thank you because you are Emmanuel, God with us. Without you, Father God, we are not, we cannot do anything without you. And so this morning, oh God, we give you praise, we give you adoration. Because we know, Father God, you are the king in glory. We are you that I am. The rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the ancient of days, the bright and morning star, the lily, oh God, of the valley you are. Lord, we bless you, Father God, for all that you do for us. The Bible says that you are manifold in blessing. You are manifold in mercy. You are manifold in grace. You are manifold in loving kindness. If not for you, where would we be this morning? We appreciate you, Father God, for all that you are doing. Indeed, you are the omnipotent one, omnipresent one, omnipresent one, the God that is ever present. You are always there with us. Even when we walk in the shadows of death, the Bible says that you are always there with us. This morning, we bless you. Ancient of days, we give you praise this morning. Rose of Sharon, we magnify your holy name. The Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Oh, Father God, the one that was and is to come. The one that was and is to come. The living one of our salvation. Our end. Father, we appreciate you this morning. Yes, indeed, we bless your holy name. Yes, indeed, we appreciate you for who you are even in our lives. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you adoration this morning, Father God. Yes, Father God, you are the ocean divider. Yes, so much more God who will go to a standstill. We say that God, we should stand still and see the salvation of the Lord Almighty. This morning we are standing still to see your salvation. Even in our life, in the month of August, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your holy name. Glorious one, beautiful one, magnificent one. Adonai, we appreciate you. Elder Yon, we give you praise. Make us our sanctifier, our cleanser, our purifier. It is all to you, Father, that we come to give praise this morning. We appreciate you for what you are doing in our lives. Indeed, oh God, you are a God that cannot be recorded with. Father, we want to thank you. We glorify your holy name. We say this morning that we extol your holy name. We bless you. The Bible says, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name this morning we bless you because you are great you are mighty you are magnificent ah father god it is to you oh god we come over to my god and say father god baba we are grateful we are so thankful for what you have done yes we look back january the things that happened and 
sustained us in February, oh God. We look back at the happened and yet he sustained us in March. Oh God, we look back and we see what you are doing. We are grateful. Even until now, Father God, we say we give you praise this morning. We appreciate you, oh God. Blessed be your holy name. Adonai, we give you praise. Adonai, our master, we magnify your holy name. Every time we give you praise. The most I want, we give you praise and adoration. Oh, be thou glorified and even this morning. Hallelujah to your holy name, O oh God. Hallelujah to your holy name, O oh God. Blessed be your holy name, O oh God. Hallelujah to you. Hallelujah to you. Oh Lord, we bless you. We worship you. We give you praise. Thank you for this morning. Yes, indeed, you are good. You are very, very good. No matter what the enemy is throwing at us, you still remain very good. Hallelujah. Glory and honor Thank be you to you. God. We give God the glory this morning. Blessed are you in the highest. Thank you, Father, for seeing us through another month. It was by your grace, O oh God, that we journey all through last month to now. Say your name be praised forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we bring glory to you today. As we bring, O oh God, appreciation unto you. As we bring gratitude unto you in one way or the other. Lord, let it be acceptable in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Let's let a victorious amen. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Once again, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Just you know, welcome somebody this morning. Welcome, I say you are welcome. Welcome to the month of August. In the name of Jesus, you are welcome to the month of August. God, in Jesus' name, thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. Let's take a seat. Please change your light, please. the Lord. The Lord is good and all the time. Amen. Father, we want to thank you this morning once again to you, Lord, be the glory in the name of Jesus. I bring this eye into your hand. Lord, as I share your word, I pray, Lord God, that Lord, your word, oh God, Father, I pray for an entrance of your word into our heart this morning. That every heart become fertile to receive from you that, O oh God, who, O oh God, will walk with, and you will, Lord, will take all the glory in the name of Jesus. That you cause your word to be fruitful in our lives. Take all the glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother John, you are welcome. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, last week, uh, Bra Alpha ministered on faith by knowledge. Faith by knowledge. Hallelujah. For those of you who were here that believe you got something from that, faith by knowledge, which means, you know, we need to oh, keep studying the word. You know, studying the word, we can, you know, can, can bring faith unto us. We can receive faith by studying the word. You know, and uh, we read from Colossians 3.16, we say, let the word of God dwell in you rightly, which means this is done by studying the word. Hallelujah. So he encouraged us to continue to study the word to God's praise and glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, this morning I'll be sharing briefly because uh, we need to appreciate God. We need to thank God and, you know, give Him gratitude. You know, we need to dance and rejoice for what the Lord has done for us. So, if God has not done anything for you, please just thank God for my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, please, you have testimony. We have a couple of testimony. You know, if you have testimony, please quickly, you know, let Raphael know. 
Guru, you know, spend time and giving testimony, you know, this morning, you know, and also appreciate God for everything He has done. I want to quickly share on what I titled Gratitude. Gratitude. You know, gratitude, which means, you know, it means thankfulness, which means to be thankful. Gratitude means, you know, thankfulness, you know, to be thankful. You know, for example, you know, you know, say for example, people express their gratitude because they did not deserve all the things that were done for them. Hallelujah. You know, the people were grateful. The father's house were grateful. You know, the father's house were grateful for the things that were done, you know, by the Lord to them though they did not deserve it hallelujah if we think of all that the lord you know is doing in our lives every day you know that we don't deserve everything you know even when we don't marry the lord is there for us he's doing great and mighty things in our life individually and as families to his praise and glory in the name of jesus if you think of all that's happened you know over a time you know yes we are still alive today hallelujah we are still alive hallelujah We've not lost anybody in this church and will not lose anybody to God's praise and glory in the name of Jesus. If you hear, give a clap of into Jesus. <laughs> Gratitude comes from the Latin word gratus. Gratus, gratus. I'm studying Latin these days. Hallelujah. It comes from the word gratus, which means pleasing or grateful. Pleasing or grateful you know and you know pleasing or grateful which means we need to please god by giving him our gratitude for all that he has done for us when christ died for us we did not merit it but the lord did it he gave his only begotten son even when it was pain he did it for us not because you know we merited a lot of things he has done for us you know, in Psalm 103, let's just put open to Psalm 103. Gratus, which means prison. Or to be grateful. And someone who is not grateful, that person is called ingrate. There's no ingrate in the Father's house in the name of Jesus. There's no ingrate here. Somebody who is not grateful, who is not reason, you know, is an ingrate. We don't have ingrate in this house, and that is why we want to appreciate God. We want to, you know, let God know we are grateful unto Him, to His praise and glory. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 103, we will see that even David has to remind himself, speaking to his soul. He said, bless the Lord. Don't just forget what the Lord has done for you. You know, I guess it was difficult at the time when the, the, one of the things that were happening around him, he could not really express gratitude unto God. It was difficult. You and I know there are times when, you know, things are happening in the physical focus on those things happening and it becomes difficult to see God in the midst of it to say God I appreciate you you know it was like that in the life of David it was like that in the life of David you know he has to remind he has to speak to his soul look rise up bless the Lord rise up give him gratitude from verse 1 he said bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is within me, bless his soul. And he was speaking to himself, speaking to his soul. Look, rise up, bless the Lord, give him gratitude, appreciate him. There is no other thing, just remember the things he has done. Don't focus on the physical, don't focus on what's happening now. Remember what the Lord has done for you and appreciate what he has done. Bless him, you know. And what are those things that he remember, you know? And he said in verse 2. 
Bless the Lord. Uh, uh, verse 1 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Remember all his benefits. Remember the things he has done. Now, the present may not be pleasing, may not be may not be glorious but remember the benefits of the past and appreciate him give him gratitude and that's what we want to do this morning remembering everything that the lord has done in our lives and we appreciate him i said one he forgives all your iniquity is there anybody here who god has not forgiven his sins is there anybody here if you, if you are here god has not forgiven you are not experienced the forgiveness of the mercies of god raise up your hand I will know that person is an ingrate. Thank God there is no ingrate in this house in Jesus' name. He said, you know, who forgive all your sins? The Lord forgive our sins. His grace is sufficient unto us. Then two, he reminded us, so look, God has healed all your diseases. You remember when he was ill and the Lord glorified his name. The Lord healed him. He was telling him, so look, can you remember how he healed all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? You all know that we receive redemption through his, the precious blood of us. You know, our Lord Jesus, we receive redemption. And the Lord continues to redeem us each and every day from destruction, from calamity, from sickness and disease. He said, look, remember the redemption of the Lord over your life from destruction. He crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. He crowned you with loving kindness and tenderness. These are attributes of God. You know, continue to be faithful in our life even when we are not faithful. The Lord continue to be faithful for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Remember Psalm 23? One of the verses says, Lead me to the path of righteousness for your name's sake, not for any other name, because of his name. Because he's the God who honors his word above his names. Yet he said, for his name's sake, lead me to the path of for your name's sake. That's what David praying. In Psalm 20, you know. He satisfy your mouth with good things. Hallelujah. How many of us you have food and you don't have mouth to eat? Is anybody here? You put food down, no mouth to eat. Is anybody here? Hello? Am I talking to somebody? Is there anybody here who has food but no matter to eat? Hello? Am I talking to somebody? Anyone here in the house? He satisfies our mouth with good things. Which means, hallelujah. You know, I like good food. That's why when I cook, I spend time. Good cooking. Good cooking needs time. In need time, don't hurry, hurry. Hallelujah. You know, it satisfies your mouth with good. not just food, good things. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Bible say our youth is renewed like the eagles. Even when maybe you are very old and, you know, we're shrinking in age, the Lord is still saying your youth is renewed. You are still renewed. Hallelujah. I say you are still renewed. Hallelujah. You know, these days that, uh, you know, <coughs> when women, <laughs> they, they wear, they wear little, little children's dresses. Hallelujah. So that they can remain young. Hallelujah. Who wants to be old? I remember back home in Nigeria. Sister Princess, God bless you. Sister Happiness, God bless you. I remember those in Nigeria. <laughs> when they said, uh, you know, you don't tell the Calabar woman, you know, you, you are not woman. Or you say, good morning, man. We say, Am I, your, am I your mother? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> am I your mother? Hallelujah. They used to say that those days. We, <laughs> we come in there and they would say, Am I your mother? Why are you call madam? Am I older than your mother? Hallelujah. Everybody in the eyes of the Lord, God renewed our youth like the eagles. Praise the Lord somebody. May your life be renewed continually in the name of Jesus. So I want us to remind us this morning. Remind ourselves of what the Lord has done, you know, and give him gratitude. Let's give him gratitude this morning and say, God, if, if it was not you who has been on my side, 
if we remember the Lord who has been on our side, it would have been worse. It would have been worse. I remember when, you know, the peak of the COVID, you know, the way I was feeling that time, if, I have, if they have tested me, they would have said, you have COVID. Hallelujah. You know, I was very stressed. I was coughing. I was feeling feverish. What do you mean? I just know that, you know, the grace of God it was what I needed. The Lord saw me through. Hallelujah. That time I, 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 I needed to work. I needed money. So I couldn't just, you know, uh, stay at home. You know, and the Lord was there. I took care of myself. You know, prayed and the Lord took control. Hallelujah. We, we, we have a testimony in you know, all the long awaited um, uh, inspection that was to take place. Every time I send this into to me, yeah, send this into us, send these papers and all. You know, they will fix a date before you know they postpone. Ah, please let them come and go so that we can rest. You know, on Friday, the inspection took place once and for all, and they were very pleased. They were very pleased. Throughout, they were very pleased. Hallelujah. You know, for inspection to be, and they will tell you, look, we are very pleased with what we've seen. Hallelujah. That was God in action. And now we want God the glory for everything he has done. You know, all the labors were not in vain. To his praise, glory in the mighty name of Jesus. God has done a lot of things. You know yourself. You know what the Lord has done. So this morning, we will be giving testimony and we will spend time to glorify the name of our Lord Jesus. You know, and before, you know, I hand over to Brafam, take testimonies and we'll do our offering and uh, announcement and then, we'll, you know, spend time to appreciate God, celebrate Him. Um, are you ready? So we want to listen to Pastor, who, for one, for, for, for reason or the other, he. He's not here, but he's here with us. You know, hallelujah, let's just listen to. Please put off the light, turn off the light.
meet every morning from seas to houses. Every morning we are on our knees, begging God and pleading God that look, this COVID will not come down. Every member of the Father's house, those people who doesn't even participate, we pray for all of you. So we prayed and God answered us. And God will continue to provide us by His mercy. Now, another testimony I have. Uh, Obviously, during the uh, COVID period, Christmas time was, was becoming horrible. And then I was going to cancel my flight going to Lagos. I said to my wife, I'm not, I'm not going again. Because the whole thing was actually um, happening everywhere. But um, I said, look, I won't cancel my flight. I will go. The Lord will be with me. So I traveled to Nigeria. I spent three months. And then COVID was like everywhere. People were just panicking. But thank God I did everything I wanted. And the Lord saw me through. I did not see COVID. No member of one of my family saw COVID. So it was a massive uh, testimony. So I really appreciate God for that. One more testimony. Years ago. And then um, we prayed and God answered. And now she's going to work. Uh, she's making good progress. myself, I was even, I was losing it. God forgive me. I said, look, it's enough, you know. But the Lord saw her too. We prayed and then um, pastor was calling her, pastor was, and we all prayed. But the Lord answered, you know, the Lord answered us. And now she said, some workplace, they couldn't even believe it. Now this is the lady who actually was up for for like four years. But now she's making massive progress. So it is just of the Lord. It is of the Lord. God, 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 uh, prayer works, honestly. Prayer works. If you don't believe that, I know and I've seen it. So, that's my testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is good. And God answers prayers. Hallelujah. All right, can we have uh, Isimeme? We are having no testimonies across the board, even the children. Come on, see me. Hallelujah. Give my good hand of applause. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings come perfect days. Hallelujah. Thank you, Simeme, and God bless you. You're going to make more progress, even in the secondary school, in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, the next person uh, is uh, Pastor Joshua. Yeah? Oh, later. Okay, all right. Okay. Brother, right, come then. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, I must start first, like uh, Bro Ken said. Um, it's and wonderful things for us all. It's COVID. We've been hearing these stories about COVID from far away. Even for those of us in this uh, ministry that has experienced it, it was quite minimal. Nothing like what people have experienced other places, going into ventilator, coming out of ventilator, and they had problems. But I thank God that everyone here has experienced relatively good health now, and the Lord will see us through continuously. Amen. Amen. And um, my uh, next testimony is um, regarding my mother. Um, my mother is, let me say, I have a special relationship, most like most people with their mom anyway. My, um, I think I, I, after God, I think uh, 
my mom is the closest person to me. Up to this, started all the way from her childhood. So, um, on the 21st of, um, 21st of June, we usually join a prayer group in the morning, both myself and her. So, I called her on 21st of June. That was on a Monday. After the prayer, I thought that she joined. And when I called her, I don't know how she managed to pick the phone, but I could hear her. And when you see your parents crying, you see how that affects you. I was, what happened? She was like, oh, my stomach, my stomach. She was screaming, yelling in pain. I asked her, is there no one around that you can talk? She said, my brother who is at home, who, who lives at home with her that drives, has gone out that early morning, didn't, didn't know that she was unwell. I said to her, get up and go to hospital straight. You know, everyone from Nigeria, maybe, it's not like here you can phone ambulance or they are running and get you. There you have to make your own way to the hospital. However, you're going to get to the hospital. That's your business, really. So, arranging to get someone to take her was a little bit of um, a task, but some people rushed out, get a car. They took her to the hospital. Getting to the hospital and the doctors, um, I say private hospital, the doctor come to the hospital by 10 o'clock in the morning. So she had to wait. The nurses were trying a few things. It's a place she's been going over the years anyway. So when the doctor came in, they, I was still on the phone following everything. They examined her and gave her medication, put IV fluid, which is normal in Nigeria, everything, whether it was the stomach or whatever, they would put IV fluid. So, and they discharged her home. She got home around 3 o'clock, and the pain became worse. It was worse. She was crying. So she went back to the hospital the next day. They tested her, said, oh, go and do scan. They, she did scan, and then they said, well, it was appendix. Unfortunately, it has ruptured already. And it was taken back to the hospital. The doctor said, well, when the appendix is ruptured, you can't do surgery because the actual appendix has um, spread into the bloodstream, and your age at 70s, you can't afford to go through that surgery. Or that would be dangerous. So, and the, the funny thing is that Exactly a year ago, her immediate sister died June 2020. So June 2021, my mom was seriously, is like, the enemy was like planning something like which I didn't know why, where was that, that was coming from. The doctor said, well, we're going to do another sort of treatment. It's going to be antibiotics and IV fluid all through for a whole week, for seven days. Now they started that. And um, they discharged her after eight days. And she's, uh, today, as I'm talking to you now, she's in the church dancing to God, testifying of the Lord. So I just want to say thank you, Almighty God. The money I would have spent to do funeral, we're using it to do testimony today. And I can't thank God enough. I can't thank God enough. I'm no father, apart from God, all I have is my mother. And I wasn't prepared to bury her this moment. And the Lord has given us a reason. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what God can do. Um, I think the Lord is doing a lot um, um, for our parents, our prayers. We pray for them and the Lord just, you know, continues to do a lot in their lives. And there are testimonies. We give God all the praise and glory. I mean, it's sometimes when, especially back home, when they tell you your parents are ill, it gives you a lot of concern. Like he rightly said, it's not like here, you just call an ambulance, they pick them. There you have the money, you, don't, you, you can't even get the proper treatment. And that's the way it is. But it's always God. It is God that... Hallelujah. Brother John. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Um, hello, everyone. Um, uh, Brother Ken said um, prayer really works. And uh, I believe we all believe in that. I believe in that as well. Uh, my testimony is going to be very short. Um, I've been, for the past few months, I've been asking God my purpose in where I work um, in Saudi Arabia. There is very little opportunity like this. You guys 
parents are really blessed to be able to congregate in a place like this. Saudi, there's nothing like this. So even though I've been there for close to four years, it was only the beginning of this year that I really got a bit cheesed off and asked God in prayer my, the reason that I have to be, continue to be in Saudi. And um, it just dawned on my spirit. I started going to the beach to pray. Because, like I said, there's nothing like what we have here. You cannot congregate in a place. It's illegal. Even though MBS has made it a bit unofficial, people can do underground stuff now without any problems. But it's not official. So I went to the beach. I go to the beach. They have very beach, Cornish beach that people go to. Out of the blue, I decided to go and pray there. I prayed for Saudi. I prayed for all of you here. I prayed for everyone. And sometimes I shared with my wife what I've been doing. And God had the reason for that to happen. And that was workplace. The my direct manager had his own plans. Think about this. Few people have decided for God to show me the reason for my existence in Saudi. And within a matter of three, four weeks, this guy has generated my sacking. Let me put it that way, as blatant as that. I needed to leave Saudi. So I needed to serve my notice. For two months, I had to be there and complete the regularities and, and leave. Don't forget, few weeks, ask God, let me know the reason for my existence in Saudi in a serious prayer. And um, just for the records, um, a friend of mine, actually, I have some of the things that we say at the beach. Um, I'll just play one of the prayer times that we had. Um, I walk along the beach and I prayed. I prayed in the spirit. I prayed with understanding. And it was really, really, really hard work. I'll just, I don't know if we can. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Nazareth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I praise you, Lord God Almighty. You are God. You alone deserve all praise. There is none like you. You reign forever. You are the Lord God Almighty. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Jacob. This is an abstract of a prayer walk in the beach. Now, like I was saying, I had my notice period to leave Saudi. So I then asked God, I've asked you my existence in Saudi, the reason, any purpose. And here I was being told to leave. I was, in, in a way, happy to leave because I've been there for quite a time and um, it was so, some sort of exciting to leave finally. And to cut a long story short, that changed suddenly. How did that change? I had some Saudi colleagues without my knowledge. They gathered to see the Director General of Technical Affairs on my behalf. I did not know that nobody told me. I had no idea what was going on. All that I, I, I needed to do was to pack my bags and give up all my uh, the, 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 the car I have, the laptop, everything, I've made it ready. Three weeks before that, the director general called me in his office. And it was like, sit down, my friend. Um, I want you to tell me where you want, which section you want to move. I was like, um, I, I was so confused and disorientated because I was expecting him to say, I've heard you are leaving. What happened? What did you do? What? 
that kind of thing. None of that happened. He just called me. Sit down, my friend. Which, which section do you want to move to? So that really took me aback. And I said, um, I was even panicking. I mean, not panicking, but I was confused. And I said, well, I'm in this department. He said, oh, that one is not under me. But uh, with a technical affairs section, anywhere you want, tell you there. So I said, okay, I'll join the, um, uh, the uh, asset development uh, section. I said, okay, go back, to your, go back to your desk, move your things, and move, take all your things and go there. <laughs> Just like that. And I, you see, so that really clicked. I said, uh, I've, I've asked God to tell me why, because I got cheesed off at a point in time you, in life you decide that enough is enough for something so you wanted to make make a different turn yeah a, a change and i started this prayer walk at the beach and is that what god wanted me to do because in saudi to be honest with you saudi needs prayer seriously saudi arabia needs prayer if you everywhere you go you see it's like what the black thing that the ladies wear, that is how the country looks like. If you see, yeah, it's as dark as that. Christian in, in, in a place like that and you just enjoy the pleasures of the land, then God, God will have some serious things to tell you. You understand? So, in, in short, what I want to say is to encourage all of us to ask God something in prayer. Believe that God will actually take it up on your behalf. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our God is good. And he works on our, he, he, he does a lot of things on our, be, on our behalf, really. Um, God has his in our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Anyway, I give him more time because he's not always here. If not, I would have said time up. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, can we have uh, Sister Titi for testimony? Sister Titi. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God, everyone. Um, last year, I resigned from my place of work. So my resignation came through May 2020. And from May 2020, I was home. And by January, I started contracting and Sometimes I get despair because of COVID, the job market was kind of slow. I work in a niche industry. I'm an accountant, but I'm not an accountant. I work in the treasury side of things. So I had several interviews, nothing was coming up. Everybody was asking, how come you haven't had a job? But I trusted God, and my, my verse was Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Instead, God, I said, God, if you're my shepherd, I try to understand what the meaning of shepherd is. He keeps, he provides, he protects. And I said, God, you have my back, and I know that you will sort me out. And to God be the glory. I can testify that as soon as one contract is ending, I'm starting another. And sometimes they even overlap. And I had an interview on Thursday. It just came. My contract was going to end in two weeks. The guy called me and said, oh, we saw your CV. We think you're a great match. Da, 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 da. I had the interview with this guy. The guy looks like a scarecrow. I was like, oh, my God. Can I smile and all the stuff? And he came back on Friday and said, they've offered you the role. You'll be working from home. You know, and for me, it's just to tell you that in the midst of your badness, sinful nature, the grace of God abounds. Don't you ever let the enemy put you down to say you're a bad person. He doesn't answer prayers. I'm not a saint, but God answers prayers, and he listens to me. So praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our God answers prayers. Our God answers prayers. Our God is good. Amen. Uh, I have a lot of testimonies. I don't even know where to start from. All right? Uh, yeah, to me. <laughs> I have the microphone. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have a lot of testimonies, really. God has been good in so many ways. So many ways, especially through this COVID period and so on. I've been very busy. Um, I left my full-time service and decided to, uh, you know, there was an opportunity, opportunity for people to 
leave voluntarily. And I said, look, I was thinking maybe next two years I'll leave. But I just said, okay, let me leave. And then I, I left. And uh, when I left, really, there was nothing really in mind. But I said, okay, there's something going on in the, in the, in the family. Let me just put some, have some inputs there and so on. But each time, it is like, this is not exactly what I want. I want, want my real thing. That's the same teaching or lecturing job. The, so what I did was that I started having some private uh, lectures uh, online, you know, the online thing. So I had a lot of them, and they were actually taking my time. But after some time, really, I was telling God, I said, look, how long will I just continue? Like, let me better go back. People were actually inviting me because the subjects I teach, I mean, they always want you around. They were inviting me to come back. But when I started, uh, when I started enjoying the peace of being on my own, when I say peace of being on my own, thinking about things and making projections and things like that, I said, why don't I just continue on this path and leave this, uh, you know, active uh, work thing? My younger brother, two of my younger brothers have retired. I'm the one working. So I was just asking myself, why, why, why don't I just think about things? And I told God, I said, look, I want, there are things I want to do. There are things I want to do. Is this the time to actually do them? And since then, God has been, I've been having one thing or the other to do privately on my own. And I have a lot of satisfaction. I am in my time now, but I get busy. Sometimes I get from morning until night. I get very busy with things, but I give God all the praise and glory. Thank God for my parents. I had to travel to Nigeria because my parents were ill. In fact, my dad was very, very ill. And I said, uh, I'm not the type that would wait, really. Let me just go and see things for myself. Because the last time I traveled was about four years ago. So I said, OK, let me travel. And the travel thing was very, very uncomfortable. Too many things to do to travel. But I took the bull by the horn and said, OK, I must do the, every obstacle. Because my, my Nigerian passport had expired. I said, OK, I have to go, go for visa. I went for visa. It was all problem, problem, problem until I traveled and came back. When I came back, I have to isolate for 10 days. And that was the most difficult part of the whole thing, to just stay indoors for 10 days. And these guys will just keep calling and checking you. You know, but in all, I give God all the praise because I took time also to search and, you know, search the scriptures and search myself, really. I took time to do all that. And I'm, I tell you, I'm better for it today. Hallelujah. Amen. It has been good in so many ways. And then in church, the children, the youths, the young adults and so on, we give God all the praise and glory for their lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Pastor Joshua? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, uh, though I uh, shared my testimony before, uh, but one thing that stood out is that um, when the inspections in the inspectors came, they were all covering their nose everywhere and I just told them, look, since this COVID started, there have been no any single infection in this place. Everybody they say, really? I say, yes, nobody. Among my staff, everyone, nobody. And they, all of them just relaxed. Hallelujah. They sat down, they were happy. They said, wow, that's good, that's great. You know, so they, they were no longer destroying us about how many staff have taken a vaccine or no. Yeah, that was covered. And I give God the glory because there are many other services, you know, within the company in that through um, the beginning of the COVID, you know, they've had infection, you know, many times that the staff will have to stay and isolate there, not going home so they won't go to their family and then they infect their family. They will have to stay at work for two weeks, you know, just think of how, you know, difficult that was, you know, and some of them, they have to move them to a different location. You know, but the Lord has been gracious to us. No single infection, no single person has been able to. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, we are actually supposed to do some singing. Uh, we are going to sing. We are going to praise God and worship God. But can we have Sister Debbie? That's the last uh, testimony of the day. Amen.
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I'm here today to return all the praises to the Lord concerning my mother. Um, on the 14th of April, I just came out of work and I looked at my phone because we're not allowed to have our phones in church in, at work. So I looked at my phone and then saw so many messages calling me, telling me that uh, my mom had been rushed to the hospital and um, something had happened. So I had to get in touch with my siblings and they started telling me that my mom had a cardiac arrest. And then by the time my younger sister came in, saw her, you know, that she was, you know, she was unconscious, you know, started doing the CPR, one thing led to another. The ambulance was called in and she was sent into hospital. And by the time the consultant saw her, they said, you know what, um, she's not likely to survive the night. So it was, uh, um, she's not likely to survive the night, but we've made her comfortable. So it was a time of tears for us. And we just started praying and praying and praying and refusing to, you know, to accept it and just refusing and praying and praying. They said, okay, they've put her on oxygen and they put her on 100% oxygen. And she was on 100% oxygen. Nothing was happening. I'd never seen somebody like that. The doctor was like, you know, she's passed on. The CPR started very late or, you know, the, um, what is it called? Oxygen couldn't get to her brain on time, and this and that and that. And it was, it was madness. So we kept on praying, and we kept on, you know, saying, the women received their dead ones back to life. And I tell them, let's just keep declaring it. Because we know we have so many sisters. So I just said, but sisters, we're the sisters, we're the women. Let's just keep declaring. And the women received their dead back to life and we just started screaming and shouting and praying and praying and praying and then well nothing happened and my mom was just lying in bed she was lying in that bed until about after two weeks and the consultant came to us and said well you can see i know i said she won't survive the night but you can see now that i know um, right now because at that, that time she was now on 85 percent oxygen and that you see that if it's his mother, that he would just, you know, let her go, you know. And I was saying to myself, well, my mom can't give birth. My mom's husband is a black man, so he's not Caucasian. So she can't be your mother. And we continue to pray for her. So to cut the whole thing short, they said she would never leave the ICU alive. So as God will have it, after two months, she left the ICU. Praise the Lord. She left the ICU. And when she was leaving the ICU, the doctors were saying, we've told you people to, you know, let this woman go. We've told you, leave her alone, let her go. Um, because now that we're discharging her from the ICU, we're not going to let her come back here again. Like, but she doesn't need to go back to the ICU. She doesn't really need to go back to the ICU. So they put her in a ward 21. From ward 21, they, you know, the doctors, they will come and they will sit you down nicely and then sit what it's not going to work forget about her but we remained you know praying and praying and praying then all of this watch was she didn't open her eyes she had to open the only reason you would know she's alive is because you can see that you know there was oxygen going in and out of her so as god will have it they say she would never recover she will never recover in fact one doctor said if she recovers that he eat his mask he told us to our face if she recovers i'll eat my mask and I told him, yeah, <laughs> I told him, don't say, don't speak too early because you could choke on it. You know, you could really choke on it. And then today, the short of it is that my mom is conscious today. She's in the ward. Yes, she's still in hospital, but she's conscious. She understands that we're there. Her eyes are open. In fact, yesterday, was it three days ago when I went to see her, my cousin came in from Ireland to see her. And um, she doesn't talk yet. Uh, came in to see her from Ireland and, you know, was only allowed to see her because it's just one person at a time. She went in there, saw her. And so when I now went in, she tried to mouth to me. And I said, what is it? Did you see your niece? And then she goes like this. She saw her. She saw her. I said, no, okay, that's all right. And then I began to pray for her. And now as I was making declarations for her, she kept on nodding. Do you understand? She kept on nodding. And then I started dancing, you know, to one of the songs that I was playing for her. And a nurse came into us. And then she started laughing. It had never, ever, ever, ever happened. Never happened. So what I'm saying today is that he who has started this great work 
he will complete it Amen. and we shall all congregate and give him praise Amen. may the lord's name be praised in jesus name Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God, all the praise and glory. Our God hears and answers prayers. Some could come quickly and, and at other times it could come slowly. But he hears and answers prayers. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. And then again, when you are easy, the Lord is always our comfort as you wait. All right, it's always a comfort when you waiting is I mean waiting can be terrible. Praying, you're not seeing any movement, nothing, and then you're waiting. Hallelujah. That is why without faith it is impossible to please God. Sometimes we, it is faith. Wait. Sometimes we could be I mean down waiting, but just keep waiting. Hallelujah. Our God is faithful. We give him all the praise and glory. Hallelujah. Okay, we are going to have our offering time now. All right. What we're going to do is that, please, 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 uh, most of our instrumentalists are not here. Most of our singers are not here for obvious reason, um, um, reason, you know, and so on. There's a reason why they are not here. And um, but in the next few days, we'll actually have them back again. But please, see, worship is an individual thing. So when the song comes, it is between you and God. You lift up your hands, you worship God, you praise him, you thank him for all that he has been doing. You know, today is the first of um, August. So we have to actually give praises to our God. Amen. Please, children, everybody, I want you to dance. All those shaku shaku and all those things. I want you to dance, rejoice. You are before the Lord. You see, most of us, we do some great dancing outside, but when it comes to the church, we take it easy. You know, but please, this is the place to dance. This is the place to rejoice. Hallelujah. Amen. Please get your offerings ready. As you're getting it ready, can we read the Second Corinthians 9 8? Second Corinthians 9 8, please. Second Corinthians 9 8. All right, 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. That means God is able to provide for you. Hallelujah. God does not owe any man. Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, shall men give unto your bosom or bring to your bosom hallelujah the god's word is infallible you know it will just accomplish that for which it's been sent for so bring out a good offering and then worship the lord just praise him and uh, close the service hallelujah praise the lord please can rise up to our feet this morning we are going to be using our hands as instruments amen psalm 46 verse 1 Clap your hands, all ye people, and shout to God the voice of triumph. So we are going to be using our hands this morning as our instrument. Amen. Amen. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. What shall I render to Jehovah? For he has done so very much for me. Okay, let's take this way. Oh, children of God, children of God, we do shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah to our God. Let's count it up. Children of God, will you shout hallelujah? Shout hallelujah to our God ten times. Let's go. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Let's dance now. Oh, glory be to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Troubles comes my way, I will praise the Lord. You alone are worthy, Jesus. You alone are worthy, Lord. You alone love to be praised and adored. You alone, you alone are worthy, Lord. You alone love to be praised and adored. You've been faithful. You've been faithful, Lord. Lord from the ages that is why your name, your excellency, is forevermore. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Nisi, you are my heavenly Jehovah Adonai. We give you glory, honor, power, and majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Nisi. You are my everything, so Jehovah, I don't want to be given glory, honor, power, majesty. You are the Lord forevermore. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, 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 shout hallelujah, hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, 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 shout hallelujah, shout Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! 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 Shout hallelujah! Hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah. 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 Our Father, we thank you. We bless and glorify your name. We thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done for us. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you're going to do. We give you all thanks and glory. The Bible says that you are the Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. You are our God. We are just in between, oh God. You know tomorrow from today. We give you all the praise and glory. 
thank you for the past months thank you for the months of uh, july january to july thank you oh god for your faithfulness it is not that we did not go through things we went through things but you were there with us you have continued to be there with us we have testimonies we glorify your name oh god thank you jesus blessed be your name we are grateful unto you lord accept our sacrifices our offering today in the name of jesus we give you thanks and glory because we've prayed in the name of jesus amen hallelujah amen and shine. You know, take that word, rise and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. This month of August in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And, uh, you know, um, our sister Natasha was uh, tested positive during the week and uh, those who were with her, they have to isolate. And the pastor also visited her. So, and that is why he's not here today. Hallelujah. Yeah, so no season, they are fine. They are very well. Just to focus the government protocol. That's why they are not here. So they are not sick. You know, and Lord, we just say, you need to be praised in the name of Jesus. Because you say in all things, we should give you thanks. We give you all things for this, to your praise and glory. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Hallelujah. I said, arise and shine for your light has come. Something new in our lives.
uh, this is the new but that means all things will new thing will come sick in whatever situation we're going through because the beginning from this morning in the name of Jesus. In the in Ezra chapter, um, in addition to uh, it said, and Isaiah forty nine, you know, which means everything in the name of whatever you go, whatever, just whatever, just know that. Not arise. I am getting up. I'm getting. I'm getting out of that. Out of that situation. Out of that pain. Whatever. I am arrived in the name of Jesus. Yes, you take all the glory as you arrive and shine in in our job, business, in our education. Everything that concerns us, we will shine. We will sh arise and shine this. Your glory. In and they will say the God, you know, the God of this man, God of this woman is really the true God. And they will serve the God of this man to your presence. God's name. Hallelujah. Brother William. For the last Saturday of this month. Come and let us remember them in prayer and thanksgiving. We will be lighting lead candles. That's the venue is Beachmere Park, Open Feet, Thamesmith, Lord, SC 20 a 0 af Hallelujah. Um, and also, remember, on the 14th, on the 14th as well, you know, it's a, uh, yeah, that's a, uh, on the 14th of this month, we will be having, uh, you know, it's a praise, uh, this in the Thamesmith year, and also, our choir will also be ministering. Hallelujah. You know, please let's uh, join, join Saturday, uh, Monday to Saturday, 6 to 6 30 a.m. daily morning conference prayer. And also on Tuesdays, 7 to 8 p.m. That's Young Adult Ministry. The Wednesday, 7 to 8 30 p.m. midweek service. You know, they all through Zoom. And on Thursday, Junior Church. Please endeavor to be part of here. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's rise on our feet. I saw Braff and brought the drum. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we wanted to use that to actually praise God. I just want you to just lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Lift up your month. Your month of August into God's hand. Hallelujah. Lift up your month. Remember all the testimonies that were said. Remember the testimony of Brother John. You know, even when he in that prayer, you know, he, he was praying that prayer, and the Lord was walking on his behalf, doing something. Hallelujah. Prayer does, you know, you know, that he, he's, he, he has prayed, and the Lord was walking things, putting people in place to intercede on his behalf. So this month, you know, we will pray and declare that it's the beginning of months unto you. It's a new month in, unto you. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Lift up your month of August into God's hands. I don't know what has been contending with you. You know, I don't know what you know the areas rise out of that in the name of Jesus. I will come back with testimony at the end of this month. At the end of that that is prayed can never be wasted. It's like in a barn. You know, God, you know, who 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 close of that prayer, you will see the manifestation in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for for everyone go here and those who are not here lifting up their voices, their hearts, calling upon you in you know in one way or the other. Lord Almighty, this month as you say we should arise and shine. Lord, I declare, oh God, as a church, as individuals, as family, we will shine your plan and purpose for our life this month of August in the name of Jesus. We will shine in our offices. In place of our businesses, we will share in our communities, 
We will shine, O oh God, in our studies. In the name of Jesus, the works of our hand, they are blessed. To your praise and glory. For it is a month of new beginning. New beginning means all things are passed away. All things become new. Which means, O oh God, that sickness, that illness, that pain, O oh God. That thing that is not your plan and purpose in our lives, in our homes, in our families, in our job they pass away for new beginning to happen for new beginning to happen new promotion new favor new grace begin to happen upon our life this month in the mighty name of jesus lord everyone in the you know on the sick the hospital right now we use my mind want to be as a point of contact we declare that we arise this month arise and shine in the glory of god in the name of jesus let those oh god who defy your word out. Let them eat their words, O oh God. 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 To your praise and glory. In the name of Jesus. We march forward as families. We march forward as a in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all the testimony. God this morning. No shall die. No shall fall in. Your protection continues. Your praise and glory. We cover each and every one of us with the blood of Jesus. We cover our family, job, and business with the blood of Jesus. We say your name be praised. We thank you for Pastor Bissi who is in Nigeria right now. Lord, thank you for joining mercies in the name of Jesus. You will bring back safely this month in the name of Jesus. Lord, everyone that shall travel this month, oh God, we cover their journeys with the blood of Jesus. Have your way, take all the glory. We give you praise. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Psalm number 23, want to go. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me to the path of righteousness. For his name says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. What's that thing for the month? Arise. Uh, the month of what? The month of new. The month of new. Arise in the name of Jesus. Give somebody a high five.